Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. My name is Anita, and I have got a new pen to unbox with you today. Let's get right into it. All right, I have already taken it out of the package that it came in, as you can see, and I am not gonna lie to you. I took a peek at it and I rinsed it out. So let's get into it. This is a Delta pen, as you can see from the box. I've got supplemental lighting, so hopefully the glare isn't horrible. It's a Delta pen. I have one other Delta pen that I picked up that's an Atlas exclusive, and this is also an Atlas exclusive, and it's, it's really pretty. I wasn't really trying to get a new pen. I'm trying to behave until Fountain Pen Day and Black Friday and all that, but that was really pretty. So we're getting there. Got all the usual materials, and here's the pen. Let me bring you in a little closer. All right. I put it back in its plastic sleeve. And here it is. It is the Delta Duna Regal Skies. It is an Atlas Stationers exclusive. And look at this. It's so pretty. And what made me kind of go for it, other than the fact that it's pretty, is it has an ink window, unlike the other Delta Duna that I got, which I think that one's really pretty too, but it doesn't have an ink window, which I don't know. I thought I wouldn't mind, but I mind a little bit. So I guess I have to put an ink in there I love and then not think about it. But this is gorgeous. The resin is by Mackenzie Penworks, I do believe. And um, yes, I picked this up. It's got rose gold trim. I picked it up with a stub nib. It's my first Delta stub nib. And we'll just see what this is like. Let me pull out some of my other pens so we can compare it to some other of the pens I have in my collection so you can see how it measures up size wise. All right, I've got the Delta Duna already laid out. And I have my Pilot E95S, which is adorable. It's a pocket pen, but it posts to a full-size pen. I love that pen. I've got a Twisby Eco. A Lamy Vista. Oh, they all measure up nicely and a Pilot Custom 743, which is slightly longer. And now I will show you the pens. Um, uncapped. Wake up, Anita. Ha -ha. And here they are, uncapped. They all post, which honestly, I don't really post my pens, but I wanted to check for you. Of course, I post the Pilot E95S the Duna posts very nicely, but I doubt because it's long enough that I would write with it posted, but it does post and it feels very nicely balanced. It doesn't feel like it's back heavy at all. The pen is fairly lightweight and it's a piston filler by the way. And I have this with a stub nib. I think I did remember to mention that, but yes, it can be posted and it so it's fairly secure. I never post the Twisbees because I do not trust posting this at the end of the piston knob. The Lamy and the Pilot Custom both post very nicely. And I do not write with either of them posted, but for you posters out there, you can do it. For the curious, I will insert the measurements and dimensions of the pen so you'll know how they actually measure up versus other pens that you may have or be considering for your collection. And now for the fun part, let's do a writing sample. I like to use my Waterman inks and because I like to reach for what's handy, 
I am going to use my custom teal mix because it's on the desk to um, test out this pen and see how it goes. I've already rinsed it because I could not wait. I wanted to see what it looked like and it was just oh so pretty. I'm like I got a good one. This is a limited edition. The pens are numbered and there are 150 pens released and I got number one, two, three. So fun. All right, let me just wipe off the end. I have a cloth, I don't know where I put it. Let's see if I got enough ink on here. Am I in the frame? Yes. Oh, this is nice. I like it. There's some feedback, but it's, I don't know. I'm not, how can I say? I am, I'm neutral on feedback. There is some light feedback, but it's a smooth rider. It's not catching anywhere. Oh, noisy. I don't know why people do all this to their cars. I don't know. I'm more of a stealthy kind of girl myself. Yeah, it's really nice and smooth. I didn't want to get another medium. I'm getting bored of broad nibs. I do like them, but I wanted to do a stub because I really love stubs. It's just such an easy way to get line variation. I love stub nibs. So much fun. Let me get a little bit more ink. I love this pen. This is so pretty. And fall, fall or summer vibes. I like the brown and it's kind of coppery and there's blue in there. It's just really pretty and, and all the rose gold. I, I love this, I'm so glad I got it. Okay, and this is a Delta Duna. It's got a stub nib and what's this called again? Regal Skies. And this is an Atlas exclusive. Usually I'm totally into the pens that I get, but this was a last minute kind of impulse buy. Cause I knew it was coming, but I was like, I'm not gonna pay any attention. Then when I took another look, I was like, that's really pretty. So I ordered it and about a week after I ordered it, it shipped and yeah, I'm glad I did it. It's very pretty. Look at the line variation. Look at that. Just a stub. It's just, I love a stub nib. They're so fun. And even if you like writing, say with fine or extra fine, stubs are fun for headers. So get you a stub nib and live your best life with your stationery. There's just so much fun. Okay, well that is it for today. I am covered with ink. I'm going to clean my pen, clean my hands, and I think I'm going to ink this baby up because she's so pretty. I don't know what ink I'm going to put in it. Maybe y'all can help me figure it out. I'll pull out some options and I will ask you all what ink I should put in this pen. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll have a link for the pen down in the description box. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything to use, but it totally helps me to bring you more content. And I appreciate that so much. So take care and have yourself a wonderful day. Bye-bye.